Hey defenders, welcome back to our channel. So right now what I'm going to be talking about is about threat intelligence. What is threat intelligence? I want you to understand what is threat intelligence before we talk about it. Let us do a Google search about what is threat intelligence. Threat intelligence. Okay, let's read this. Threat intelligence is a evidence-based information about cybersecurity attacks that a cybersecurity expert organizes and analyzes. This information may include mechanism of an attack, how to identify that an attack is happening, ways different types of attack might affect the business, right? So you need to understand that threat intelligence. So I want you to understand something very simple, okay? Say you are an organization and you are doing log monitoring, okay? You are monitoring the logs. But as and when you look at the logs, you would not be having any idea because you will see only the source IP, destination IP, source port, destination port, or the source domain name, destination domain name, right? But you don't have any indicator saying this particular domain name is malicious. This particular domain name or this particular service is malicious. You do not know that. You can just looking at logs will be just gibberish. You, you can't make out any sense out of this logs. That is why a threat intelligence platform is really important. I want you to understand in threat intelligence, you have both open source and a commercial threat intelligence tool. Let me give you an idea of what. In a commercial threat intelligence tool, these are provided as APIs by most popular uh, companies, right? Very expensive APIs where they give a IP address, indicator of compromise, email address and so on, where they continuously do it on a regular basis. Likewise, there is something called the open source threat intelligence, which is what I'm going to be showing you right now, right? So there are few popular open source threat intelligence platform, right? Where you have the feeds of many popular blacklisted, blocklisted, malware infected, uh, command and control server infected, uh, zombie machines and so on, right? So as the end users, we won't be able to have a list of all the IP addresses ourselves, which are likely blacklisted, right? So if you are able to see on your network, that some IP is communicating with some IP outside and there's a response packet, you won't be able to take any action. But when you add the threat intelligence to it, saying this is the list of blacklisted IP I have, right? The source and destination IP that are in the list has to be cross-checked with this blacklisted IP, right? And this blacklisted IP also necessarily need not be from one source. It can be from so many sources, right? Adding that intelligence is called the threat intelligence, right? So there are some popular threat intelligence tools. Uh, let me say open source tools. Let's see what it says. Okay, please pay attention. Here it says fish tank, right? Uh, here it says virus total, anomaly, MISP, open CTI, pulse drive, etc. right? Let me tell you most of what is given are not open source in, uh, threat intelligence platforms. There are portion of the open source threat intelligence they do, as simple as that. Now, let me help you with something. So these two are my favorite, MISP and OpenCTI. MISP stands for Malware Information Sharing Portal. Malware means it's specifically not malware, it is even uh, attackers, IP addresses and so, so on, right? And OpenCTI is Open uh, Centralized Threat Intelligence. Right now, let us uh, see a demo of what I already have in place. I have MISP installed, right? So let me walk you through MISP. Sorry, let me open it in incognito mode. Here I have hosted this on. Uh... Okay, it's asking for a username password. Okay, this is a server that I've spin for testing, testing uh, requirement alone, right? Okay, now what I do is I just log in into MISP portal. Let us click login, beautiful, 
now interesting now we are able to see so much of data these are all malware infected ips malware infected emails emails that does automated spams and all that you know everything that you see here is likely malicious in nature right they call it not just attackers but they call it the indicators of compromise here what is the indicator of compromise Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity.